Hello everybody, it's Charlie here. I hope you're all well and doing good. Today's video is going to be my birthday haul. It was my birthday on the 12th of September, so Wednesday just gone, and I was 28, which I still can't get my head around. Um, thank you so much to all of you that left me um, comments on my Facebook and my Instagram, lots of birthday wishes and stuff. I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, whilst we're on the topic of Facebook and Instagram, I have been getting a lot of comments recently from some of you guys um, saying that you would like to follow me on my Instagram and my Facebook but you can't find me. I will put links down below to both of those. Um, although I would definitely say um, come and follow me on my Instagram more than my Facebook just because my Instagram is the place that I keep most updated. Um, particularly when it comes to books. Whenever I buy new books or I receive books in the mail or post, um, I always put pictures of them up on there. So it's the best way to keep, you know, up to date with me. Um, so yeah, as I said, this is going to be my birthday haul. I am not going to be sharing any of the money or the gift cards I got, which is, to be honest, mostly what I got. As I've got older, I tend to get more of that than anything else, just because I think it's just easier for people. And also, I quite like being able to go out and like spend money or vouchers on things that I really like because I think it can be hard to know what to get people as they get older I always find anyway so yeah I'm not going to show any of those because I think that would be boring just the like physical things um that I got so without further ado let's get on to the haul so I'm going to start off with a few clothing items that I received first up um, and I actually wore this in my last video because my mum and dad gave this to me as an early birthday present um, and I am just completely in love with it. I've been wearing it almost every day since. It is this amazing Gladiators t-shirt. So it has the Gladiators um, on the front. I hope you can see that. It has the Gladiators on the front and then on the back it says Contenders Ready gladiators ready and it is just it's so cool i have become obsessed with retro t-shirts over the last few months and when i was growing up the gladiators was one of my favorite tv programs to watch i just absolutely loved it so my mum and dad said when they saw this they couldn't not have it um it's from truffle shuffle i do know that because it says on the label which is one of my favorite places to get retro clothing and things from i'll put the link to it down below um and it is honestly the softest t-shirt ever it's it's sort of got like a vintagey washed out type of feel and it's in a nice uh like boyfriend oversized fit which i love i'm not a big fan of um, women's t-shirts because I find because they're a bit more fitted they always sort of rise up and I just find myself pulling them down all the time but this is just so comfy as I say I think I've been wearing it almost every day since um, I got it it's a little bit scrumpled up now and dirty because I got it out of the wash especially for this video because I thought it was about time I washed it um, but yeah I I'm in absolute love with this it's just yeah, it's my favourite piece of clothing that I own right now, for sure. Next up is a pair of pyjamas. Little fact about me, um, I own probably more pairs of pyjamas than I do outdoor clothes, which probably makes me sound incredibly sad. But I am one of these people where when I come in from work or whatever I've been doing, if I don't have to go back out again for any reason, I will put my pyjamas on straight away, even if it's like the middle of the day, um, I just, I just, you just can't beat putting a really cosy pair of pyjamas on, particularly now we're getting to like autumn, winter, um, and I got the most amazing pair, um, so the t-shirt looks like this, it's got a little fox on it, and it says cosy autumn nights, um, which is just, I love my cosy autumn nights, so, yes, so that's the top, and then the trousers have little foxes on them i hope you can see that i know the lighting's not that great today um and these are so soft they're just in like a cotton material they're not like the winter fleecy pajamas you get i'm not a big fan of those because i sort of i find that i just overheat in them 
but these are just um, lovely. I'm not sure where I'm, these were from. Uh, Sainsbury's. These were from Sainsbury's. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love these. I haven't worn them yet though, because it suddenly got really warm um, in the UK again at the moment. I think because we're expecting a storm, so it's quite sort of humid. Um, so I haven't worn them yet, but I'm very much looking forward to doing so. And then the last fashion item that I got are these vans. These are the checkerboard slip-on vans. Um, every birthday and Christmas I ask for a pair of vans because I just love them so much. Out of all of the trainers that I've ever owned, vans are the ones I find the most comfortable and I put the checkerboard ones right at the top of my birthday list, list this year because I wanted a pair of these particular ones for such a long time but I wasn't expecting to get any because in these I only take a three and a half which is really small and a lot of shops uh, near me that sell vans don't do them in half sizes um, but somehow somehow my mum and dad managed to find them and um, again these are another thing that I've been wearing almost every day since I just I love them so very much. Then I got a DVD of The Widower. This was a, I think, three or maybe four part drama series on the BBC a few years ago. Um, and it is based on a true crime about this guy called Malcolm Webster, who basically he would marry women and then he would murder them in order to get their money and stuff. And his first wife, um, he actually did murder um, and I remember watching this on the telly and just being completely absorbed in it. It also has one of my most favourite actors in it who is Reese Shearsmith who plays Malcolm Webster and he is so, so good in this. He's so creepy and just, it's just a really chilling, chilling watch. Um, and recently I've been trying to buy everything that he is in and this was one of very few that I didn't have so I put it right near the top of my list and my sister picked this up for me and I'm so excited to watch this one again. Then I got some records or some vinyl, whatever you want to call them. Um, I recently um, found my old record player in storage and I have just completely fallen in love with vinyl again. Um, I plan on actually doing some videos where I like show my collection, I talk about some of my favourites. Um, do let me know down below if those are videos that you would be interested in, I don't know. I would just love to talk about them. Um, so vinyls were like the main thing that I asked for this year um, and I got some vouchers for my favourite record store. Um, which is in the town that I used to live in. I adore it. Um, so, but I haven't spent those yet. So these are just ones that I actually received on my birthday. So the first one was from my mum and dad, and this is Jeff Wayne's um, musical version of The War of the Worlds. So I have never read this book or heard any of this or anything, but. Um, when my dad was growing up, this was one of his favourite vinyls that he owned and he just said that I needed to listen to it because it was absolutely fantastic. Um, I absolutely love the, um, the artwork of this, it's so cool. So that's what it looks like at the front. And then on the inside, it's so cool. I love it so much. Um, and I think, maybe, I don't know, but I think this might, like, retell the story as well. I'm very excited to listen to it, um, nonetheless, because usually I love the things that my dad likes in terms of, like, music and things. So, yes, I got that one. Um, then my sister got me Hybrid Theory by Linkin Park which is one of my favourite albums of all time. It's the very first album that I ever bought. Um, well, actually it was bought for me, I think. Um, and basically I've just been a massive fan of Linkin Park since I was at like primary school almost. Um, 
and obviously it's it's even more um, poignant now with the suicide of the lead singer um, and I just I've already listened to this and it just it brings back so many memories for me um, and I just I absolutely I absolutely I'm just obsessed with this this is one of my most prized possessions now that I got were both from my mum and dad as well and um, I I actually I wasn't expecting these at all but oh my god they're just everything um, they are um, the soundtracks to Halloween 4 and Halloween 5 I mean I mean how cool are they I'm just in love and look at the back of this one guys oh my god it's so so cool I'm going to show you the insides as well these are being slowly re-released now to commemorate hold on oh it doesn't actually sound the front of you now to commemorate like 40 years or something of Halloween um so I'm going to get all the others when they come out and I'm getting they have like this little collection box to put them all in so I'm going to get that as well um and I just oh I just love these so much again I've already listened to them and it just gives me all of the feels um oh I just love them so much as I say I totally wasn't expecting these so I'm I'm just I'm completely completely thrilled with those the last um bunch of things that I have to share with you guys is books um I got a lot more book vouchers than I did actual physical books so what I'm going to do is when I've spent those I'll do another haul and share the books that I got um, but these again were just ones that I got on my actual um, birthday. First up I got Sadie by Courtney Summers. This is one of my most anticipated reads of this year. This is about a guy called Wes McRae who is a radio DJ and he receives this call from a stranger one day asking him to investigate the disappearance of this young girl called Sadie Hunter and he basically starts up a podcast to investigate it and this book is basically that podcast and I am loving these books that are coming out now in this style there's so many of them that seem to be popping up and I I know some people don't like it because they say it can make the story a bit disjointed and I can understand that but I really like them um and I don't know if you can see but underneath the dust jacket it's got a knife I don't know if you can see that. Um, so I'm really, I was so excited to get this one. Um, and I am definitely going to be reading it very, very, very soon. Uh, the next one that I got is Scream All Night by Derek Millman. This is a contemporary that is set in this big old castle that was the setting for a bunch of really famous horror films. Um, you guys know I'm not a big fan of contemporary, but I do really enjoy contemporaries when they have something kind of different about them um and this one definitely does with that setting it's a bit like um the oh my god what was it called the indefinable list of worst nightmares oh my god i can't believe i've forgotten the title of it it's one of my favorite contemporaries from last year and of all time um but that one was um very very different and I just I really enjoy that I don't like contemporaries where it's just like mushy romance so yeah I'm really looking forward to this one I absolutely love this cover as well um, and I've heard really good things about this one then I got Sons of Cain by Peter Vronsky this is a non-fiction book which talks about the history of serial killers from the stone age to the present and y'all know that I like stuff like this and um, it talks about kind of how our modern day obsession with like true crime documentaries and things came to be and how serial killers were first portrayed in you know black and white horror movies of years ago and it just sounds really interesting and I really love this cover again um, this was one that I didn't ask for um, my sister just knows that I love true crime stuff so very very much looking forward to getting this one I really love receiving things that I've just not heard of um, yeah so that is that one 
Um, the next one that I got is Abandoned Places by Henk van Rensbergen. So basically, um, I recently have become really interested in abandoned old buildings and like um, photographing them and exploring them and that kind of thing. And I didn't even know that there were so many of these types of books. I just randomly googled it on Amazon recently and there's so many of them. And this one really caught my eye so I decided to put it on my wish list. And oh my god, it's so beautiful. So it's basically just filled with stunning photographs of abandoned places from um, from around the world. So you have like a theme park there, which is in Japan. Yeah, Japan. Um, and some of them, it kind of tells you um, the story of that place, where it is, and sort of how it came to be there. And I just completely love this. Like, I just need all the books like this now. I think it's so beautiful. And I just find it so intriguing that a building can just suddenly be just abandoned. Like, some of the pictures in these books, it's like a table and there's like a plate on it. And you think, how did someone go out leaving their plate on the table and just never come back to it? Like, it just, it really intrigues me. So I can't wait to look uh, more properly through this book and it's a really nice kind of like shape as well that's really easy to go in your bag and stuff so yeah I was really pleased with this one. The last book that I got was from one of my friends. We don't usually buy gifts for each other. What we usually do is um, when it's somebody's birthday we'll go out and our group of friends like the people whose birthday it isn't will pay. That's what we usually do. Um, but we went to the cinema um, and next to the cinema that we go to is a bookshop and I saw this book in there and I just fell in love with it so my friend bought it for me and I'm so excited it's just amazing um, and the book is um, Something Wicked from Japan Ghosts, Demons and Yokai um, so this is literally just a book of different like demons and ghosts and various legends from um japan so let me just show you so like there's one how creepy is that um and it basically tells you the story of that particular yokai or demon or whatever it is um and how the story came to be and you guys know that i'm obsessed with anything to do with japan and certainly anything to do with like ghosts and folklore of japan um, and so that's why as soon as I saw this book, I just was like, I need to have that. And I can't wait, I cannot wait to be able to read through this properly. It's so, 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 so beautiful, this book. It's like everything I could want in a book. And I just have to show you as well, um, under the dust jacket. It's such a beautiful book and... Yeah, I just, I absolutely love it. And I've just remembered that I forgot one item of clothing to share with you guys as well. And I forgot because it's something that I'm currently wearing. It is these pom-pom slippers. Um, I always like to get a new pair of slippers for my birthday every year. Um, because obviously my birthday is around the time where we're approaching autumn and winter. And... You know, and having a new pair of slippers and a cosy new pair of pajamas is the best thing ever. Um, and I don't know where my mum, where my mum and dad got these, but they are the softest, most warm slippers ever. And I just never want to take them off, which is probably why I forgot to to show them to you earlier. But yeah, I just absolutely love them. So that is my birthday haul. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all very soon for another one. Bye.